What's up you guys welcome back to my channel i decided to film right here and share my thoughts on something uh, i've been pretty much all day I, I i worked in the morning i came home and uh, this was the last day of summer school which i led this summer first time at my new job thank god everything went well very successful summer came home very tired still am not tired but like sick uh, I'm aching everywhere, maybe because of the stress I had of wanting to finish um, finish summer school well. I was laying down right here and just thinking about everything that I'm praying and, and waiting on God for, everything that I don't have. Can you believe that? And I was thinking about all the problems that I have and I was thinking about all my worries and and the more I fed my thoughts, the more, more I got sick to my stomach. And I literally started feeling pain in my stomach. And I was like, and in my, and I was like, for a second, what am I doing? Like, this is not, this is not going to solve anything. Like, I was just like, I need this, I need that. And I'm like, God, I'm waiting on this. I've been waiting on this for years. I've been waiting on this. Where is this? Where is that? without even mentioning about things that I should mention and be thankful and grateful for, you know? So, the more I thought about my problems, the bigger they got in my head and the more I started worrying. And this is not just today, it's, it's like been for days and days. And it can happen, no matter how close you think you are to God, it can happen. Because like I said, our thoughts, like I always say, our thoughts are what lead our life. You know our lives and um, because the more we feed no matter what kind of thoughts we have that we have the more we feed them the bigger they become and that and they thus will be formed into behaviors so um, I was just thinking thinking I got so sick and I was like I was like I can't do this so I was trying to uh, unload my dishwasher and I was like how about if I just watch some I mean YouTube video while I'm just I mean loading unloading my dishwasher and but I felt led in my spirit to listen to something uh, like a praise and worship song um, like praise and worship for those who you don't know for those who don't know it's um, a, a music songs that are dedicated to God you know so I put um, I, I put I put a list that I listen to daily that's my favorite and the first one that I was listening it was uh, it's a song called um, you are faithful so I'm, as I'm listening and I'm singing the words and I'm pouring myself out and I'm, I'm, I'm loading unloading the dishwasher I just I was like what am I doing you know um, I need to do this more often and and the spirit reminded me, God's spirit reminded me uh, that when I, when 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 my heart is down, when my mind is cluttered with uh, worries and uh, problems and things that we cannot solve, you know, in our life, because you will have, you know, you will find yourself in that in that um, boat, you know. I don't even know why I'm tearing up. Um, this God reminded me that um, we have we have no control. We need to just let go and trust God, and we need to get up and praise and worship Him. And in my in my mind, I was just like, but a song is going to make my problems go away. Um, I don't think so. But that's what we think, you know, because God thinks different than we do. But it but. A song of uh, praise and worship and if a song that says thank you to God for what we already have a song that is uh, magnifying God and glorifying him and just saying um, God you're faithful you're wonderful and and meaning it it's not just liberating to our soul and to our mind but it's um, 
like it's delivering ourselves from holding on to let's pretend this is your problems our problems holding on to our problems and to the solution to our problems because we always think that we have the solution to our problems but we don't um, um, we need to just let it go let them go and, and trust God and just say here God take them I, I want I want my soul to be free I don't want to be in that prison anymore where I think I'm going to solve where I expect myself to solve my problems and I, I'm not saying now what's your responsibility you know is your responsibility you take you have to do what you are what your responsibility is but like bigger bigger things that are out of our reach out of our control and even those things that are but that we are responsible of we need to invite God we need to invite him to help us to guide us um, because in our head we think we know it all we think we can do it I'm a big I'm someone big in that like you know I'm, I'm the biggest guilty in that um, but let me tell you something we don't know it so when I was playing that song and just singing I just felt this I felt like the this big coat that I was carrying just fell down and I was like I felt free and I felt liberated I felt like my soul my soul was out of jail you know like the chains just broke the chains of worry the chains of the change chains of not knowing the chains of uh, oh, how am I gonna get over this problem how am I going to um, solve this how am i going to do that you know this and that um stop thinking about that stuff because it's just so it's so self-absorbing that it's all about you and you and it's not all about us you know it's about god and we need to um we need to magnify him and by when we magnify god um when we when we magnify god and his name and who he is our problems become smaller and smaller and smaller and they will disappear and you think that it sounds like magic but it's not magic uh, but it's supernatural because when we um, when we switch worry with worship our problems will disappear supernaturally because you learn to let go and enjoy yourself in God's presence and 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 do it daily even when your flesh doesn't feel like it even when you're just like really i don't want to get up i god i'm sorry don't get offended you know i've said it in my time in my head many times god i just don't feel like it my back hurts i have this i have that and you know all these excuses i just don't feel like praying i just don't feel like reading the bible i just don't feel like going to church i just don't feel like doing nothing um listen if we didn't if we followed our feelings uh, we wouldn't even be getting up from bed so don't don't fall for your feelings don't fall for your flesh get up and on purpose lift up your hands put a nice uh, praise and praise and worship music and just sing to God even when you don't feel like it even if you think that you're in such a deep pit that you have you have no idea how you're gonna get out of it let me tell you something god has a way to get you out of it he will get you out of it but he wants god wants us to go to him for who he is not for what he can give us um that's another video i will make but god wants us to go to him because our soul needs him we our mind our thoughts need god you know uh, our body our spirit um our mind we need god we think that sh you know like right now left and right there's programs there's um videos there's stuff on tv about the people talk about um self-development pro programs mindset stuff um develop yourself your ego work on your body work on your look work on this if you don't like it change it and then people have become so self-absorbed so self we have become so self-absorbed so self uh such a self-led society that 
you know deep down inside that uh, you keep pouring and pouring into yourself but you still feel empty you know why you feel empty you know why we feel empty because um, we can work on our body and our our outer appearance all we want but if here and here inside of us is not fixed it's not um, hooked up to God on a day-to-day -day basis um, pouring into our outer appearance and our outer self is not going to um, it's not going to fix it you know buying things that are expensive going to places um, trying to feel this experience that experience jumping from one relationship to another um, it's not going to fill that void because we're always going to be looking and we're always going to be looking this way we're always going to be uh, like searching and searching because our we run from inside out not from outside in what's inside comes out so we always have to address what's inside of us here in our mind in our heart um so my point is if you are feeling down and, and your heart feels feels like it's fainting like you can't take it anymore like there's no help from no one like your friends have abandoned you your family members don't understand you they don't have to no one needs to understand you no one needs to get you but God you know and you're like I don't see God I don't really have no communication with him or I'm not religious it's not about being religious no God and religion don't really go together you know it's uh, uh, it's about having a communication a connection with God who 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 is the one who created you and no matter what your belief system is um, you're always gonna need God your oh your soul is always gonna look for its creator you know so if 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 you are just you feel like you're cornered, your, your back is back against the wall, your face is uh, just dropping down and, and your head is down, you're, you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Um, just take a minute, get off the social media, get off every connection that you have. Take a minute and be quiet somewhere and um, start magnifying and glorifying and thanking God in your life but do it daily 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 do it daily until your mind and your mouth is trained that whenever you face situations like this um, you already have a habit of oh I need to get up and pray. I need to get up and praise and worship God um, because I don't want to be staying too long focusing on my troubles because once you do, they will overtake you. And no depressant, antidepressant pill, no anti anxiety pill, no painkiller pill, nothing will work. You know, I've t I mean, I've worried myself to death to the point where I used to take so much. Um, antibiotics that like they messed up my stomach so much. I'm good now, but for years, because I just didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know how to let go, but at the same time, I didn't want to let go. Um, especially because my personality is of someone who wants to lead, someone who wants to control everything in my life, and. If I don't have a control over my life and things that go around my life, I like to plan things. I like to go ahead. Um, I found myself many times fighting with God and uh, telling Him what to do and what's better, best for my life. And um, to the point where I got myself stomach sick in my stomach and literally physically sick in my stomach. And I took so many pills that messed up my stomach. Um, I don't know, but I'm just saying our dependency when when we find ourselves in situations like this 
um, our first thing, our first thought should be, um, I can't take, I can't do this. I am not going to put myself through it. Not physically, not mentally, not emotionally, not spiritually. I'm just going to get up whether I like it or not, whether I want to or not. And I'm going to praise and worship God because, um, just like the walls of Jericho in the Bible, the only the only way they came down was through shouting, praising, worshiping God, and marching around the walls. So if that's what you have to do, do it. Do it daily. Because let me tell you something, you cannot take that load on, that you cannot carry that load alone. Um, you cannot pay those bills on your own. You cannot worry about how you're going to pay those bills. Um, you will naturally, but don't do it so long that you're going to make yourself sick and then you're going to add more to your, uh, to your list, to your worry list. Make that list of things that you need and that you have to do and take it to God and switch it with praise and worship and thankfulness and gratefulness before him um i've been doing this for quite some time now and i'm not saying this is a recipe for some type of magic work or potion i'm just telling you that it's a the recipe of living a uh more peaceful less worried life especially since life is short and we don't know how long we have on this earth you know so um like even me for doing it so long like i said you know i forget i forget what um i'm supposed to do daily and like i said um Sometimes when I think so much about my problems or about issues in life and this and that, the more I think, the, f the, the, the farther the desire is for me to uh, uh, rely and, and search for God in that area or to get up and praise and or sing because I'm like, I don't feel like it, you know, and it's natural, it's totally normal, um, but you got to beat that normality, you got to beat that you gotta beat your own flesh, you know. You gotta overcome it by just making a decision and getting up and just doing it. Praise and worship, lift up your hands, um, go loud, go, go cry somewhere, lock yourself in a closet in the room, get your Bible, um, because it works, okay? And do it daily because uh, we will, problems happen every day, you know. I hope that you enjoyed this short, hopefully this sh this is short because you know when I start talking sometimes I talk too much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and you found it encouraging and that you will be reminded to turn to God whenever you're feeling like you just want to turn in the towel and and give up and you feel like everything is on your back. You know, you can't take it anymore. Like your heart is fainting. Um, know that God is there. And know that Jesus loves you. Know that God cares. And He, and He's not deaf. He's not blind. Um, but He wants us to open our mouth and seek Him and go after Him. Um, and He will show you who He is. He will show you what He can do in, in your life. Um, he has done it many, 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 many times in my life and still is. Um, and I have so much to share. But anyway, I will end this video hoping that you got encouraged and blessed by it and reminded to um, give it all, let it go, trust God. Um, even when you think like everything is just falling apart. So don't forget to share because sharing is caring, you know and visit my vlogging channel because i post there mo a lot more what we do during the day in our life and give this video a thumbs up oh god if you're sick um and i will see you guys on my next video all right be blessed bye